Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, first thing you may notice, I'm not recording on Audacity, I'm recording the mic in action. It sounds awful, I'm really sorry about that, there is no other way around it. As you know, I'm, this is the Click Tracks tutorial, and Click Tracks needs Audacity to use, and so does recording my mic, so I have to record it in action, it sounds bad. I'm sorry, it's just my incompatibilities. But anyway, let's ignore that, ignore the fact I sound like a, uh, a chipmunk cross with a robot. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing click tracks, which are simply beats that uh, sort of show what music looks like. So first we're going to find our song, so I'm going to use Iris by The Eden Project. And first thing you hear, because it's progressive house, you've got those beats. Those are the beats that we need to make a track to so we can see them. So uh, what you're going to first need to do is get the BPM of your song, or beats per minute. Easiest way to do that, the world's most powerful tool, Google. Friend zone, Iris, BPM. And that's what you can see here, Friendzone, Eden Project, Iris, 128 BPM, because it's progressive house. If you have an understanding of sort of music and that, you'll know what this means. If you don't, all you need to do, Google blah 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 blah, BPM, and then that'll pretty much sort you. So let's now, uh, once you've dragged it into Audacity, Audacity is free, I will be linking it down in, uh, in the description. It's a really good program, it's really easy to use, I could use it when I was at 10. Really simple, but um, for what you're doing now, just follow exactly what I do. So drag it in, zoom in, and get your cursor using the arrow keys to roughly where the beat starts. And do tracks, add new, stereo track. It can be mono, it doesn't matter. So now we're selected in this track, generate, click track. So that will bring up a little window with a load of options. You don't need to worry about these, you leave them as default. So the tempo is what we just googled, so that 128, we're going to pop in here. Beat to measure, leave it at 4. If you're musical, you'll understand 4 4 is standard timing for one, two, three, four sort of music. But if you're not, don't worry, you should be fine unless you're doing a waltz, which I don't think you are. Number of measures, put it in a relatively big number because that's how many bars, so 256 kind of covers this song and can trim it down. So uh, let's zoom out to the end for start. And just as you can see, it stops over there, so just delete that. So what you will now notice is if I zoom in at the start, let's mute and, oh, oops. Do that. Mute and solo this. So now we can do, do it like this. I think it works. There's a way to do it. If you do solo on my phone, mute. No. Hello. Hello. There we are. Right, toggle. So at the start, you can hear. Hit solo. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Then nice and sync. So this knows ex tells us exactly where to do the bumps. So if I jump forward a bit to the chorus, which is around here, you can hear, nice and insane, so that's going to help us insanely when we're creating our montage. So let's get rid of, uh, we can just mute in Project Friend Zone, zoom in a bit. Now what we want to do here, we want to make sure, because of sometimes when you export things, Audacity chops off the beginning, so we're just going to say, uh, generate silence. Uh, generate silence. That long. Click that black bar. Right, so now if we double click on here, select the whole thing. So you've already got this saved. So do file, export audio, name it in my audio folder. I'm just going to name it click. Ah, uh, bad. Click. Iris. It's nice and sorted. Export it as a web. As you can see in certain files, the BPM is even stored in the file. 128 each minute, give that a second. And while that's now it's done, let's open up our folder and open up After Effects. And the first thing you'll notice looks exactly the same as it did before. Because I'm not uh, going to be using another template project. Uh, so let's bring in Iris, our song. And let's go to my audio. Look at this organization, lads. Look at it, mate. Click Iris. Drag it in. First thing we're going to do, we're going to grab some footage. I don't know what footage I'm going to use, I'm just going to use some random stuff. Use this 21 gig. Pretty big, I guess. Don't know what that's going to be. Let's see. Oh, what's going to do that? I made a call by accident. Drag it into the new comp. Just as simple last time. This looks like a snippet of. No, it was just me recording on the cover. Right, so let's trim our composition down for a start. We don't want it to be 25 minutes. We want it to be about 10 seconds, I think, will, will be good. But this is just going to be a quick example on how you do it. Just, uh, pop it down to half. 
So now what you can see um, is that we got our, we we'll drag our audio in here. Mute the Java for, for now. And if you click down here, audio, click waveform, you can see that is what it looks like. That is what it looks like if you play Iris. So if I click play now, you can see it sounds like this for now. So that's going to be pretty easy to sync to. But, um, it can be difficult. If you get to different points in the song where there's lots of noises, there's wubs, there's orchestra, there's synths, there's so many things and you can't see the beats. What's a lot easier, we just drag in click track Iris and hide this for now. Click down, audio, waveform. As you can see, look, those are the beats of your song. So the easiest thing to do, just get behind them, put your cursor on them, and create whatever you want. Create whatever you want. Create whatever you want. It's so helpful. It, makes, it means you can see that it's in time. And that's how I do the wubs with the bulges. I w that will be in the next tutorial, which will be linked in the end screen, like they always are. Uh, will be web so I'll be using this click track and using this click track for every video from now on uh, and how to sync your footage so I'd like to thank you guys for watching this tutorial was kind of simple but it is really really helpful it's invaluable when following my other tutorials that will be uploaded in weeks to come if you want to see those smash that subscribe button you'll be told as soon as they're uploaded it will be sent direct to your notification bar direct to your inbox direct to your YouTube feed whatever you want uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, share my video, it, it would mean the world to me. Because sharing is something that I haven't really been encouraging recently. And I'm trying to get my YouTube channel to grow. And the best way to do that is to let other people know. Rhyme! Look, how awesome am I? But anyway, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you liked it even more, subscribe, and bye-bye.